Hi there, it's Gabriel here from pilotclimb.com and in today's video we're gonna talk about pilot licensing. I'm gonna interview Matteo which is a student pilot right in the middle of his pilot training. So me and Matteo we're gonna give you throughout the video very useful tips that you need in order to fly through your pilot training course. So make sure you stay until the end of this video because we're gonna talk about the costs of your licenses, where you can get your license and what you need to do in order to get your pilot license and apply for your dream job as an airline pilot. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, guys, uh, give me a very great deal of pleasure to welcome to the Pilot Climb community, Matteo. He's a great friend of mine, and in two days, we're gonna, I'm going to ask him a lot of questions about pilot licensing. He's right in the middle of the course, so he's going to give you a very good tips if you want to start the, the, the pilot course. All right, so without further ado, Matteo, could, would you mind to introduce yourself to the Pilot Climb community? Okay. Hello, guys. Hello, everyone. My name is Matteo. I'm a good friend of Gabriele. I'm 34 years old, and I've been cabin crew for the last 14 years. I started my pilot course in, uh, in 2019 when I decided to, to jump from the cabin to the fly deck. So I, I undertook this path for, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a quite difficult um, path, but you have to give your best in order to, to achieve the goal. Let's see, now I just started, I finished the, the PPL and I am uh, on the, the ground school for the TPL. The funny thing is that uh, me and Matteo, we worked together many, many times. Uh, when we met each other 10 years ago, and when I met Matteo, I was a uh, quite brand new first officer. I had only two stripes. And then, uh, it, then, I mean, now I've got four stripes. I'm an instructor, and it's still, we are still together. I mean, we are still good friends. So he saw, he saw me doing all the process as a career, as a professional pilot. But the important thing today, guys, is that since I've done my pilot license uh, 15 years ago, I bring you Matteo because he's right into the course now. Okay, so Matteo, can you give us? Uh, can you tell us where are you? In which point of your training course you are at the moment? Okay, at the moment I uh, I'm on the ATPL course because I I finished my PPL in January. Then uh, I supposed to to fly to US for uh, for uh, Howard's building, but due to the situation I couldn't make it. So so I stayed home and I'm. I'm still still studying, and actually two days ago I started my ground school lessons. That they are uh, they're gonna be done online because uh, as um, as low you should go for a presential uh, for about uh, ten percent of the course. In this case, uh, for ATPL is in to a total of six hundred fifty hours, but you have to do a ten percent of these hours uh, presential. All right, so, yeah. So. Uh, so we're gonna go into I, the PPL in a second, Matteo. Uh, do okay. you mind if if you have got like somebody that is just starting their pilot career and doesn't have any clue where to go, how does it start, where what steps a person should take? Can you just walk us through all the steps that you have done to get to the TPL now and then even after the TPL, what you have to do? just from zero? Like if there is somebody okay. there that's just wondering what to do. Can you just walk us through that? Okay, so yeah, the, let's say there has some requirements in order to start. That's, as Gabriele said, the, the first one actually is more impo is most important is the medical, um, uh, which at the beginning you can choose between medical, it's called class one and class two. Um, then it's up to you because it depends uh, from which career you want to you wanna go through. Like uh, if you want, only want to be a private pilot, like uh, doing it as a hobby or just, just for fun, you just want to have this PPL license. For you, um, class two medical is enough, pretty enough. In my, cases, uh, in my case, as I wanted to become a professional pilot, uh, I started straight away. I went with the class one, which is let's say more strict, more strict medical uh, examination, and that's that's why I, I decided to to go straight for that. Yeah. Uh, of course, it's, it's, <laughs> it's more expensive. That's that's for sure. But uh, it gives you um, uh, a full, let's say, a full um, full requirements. Like you can finish in the PPL and going through uh, with the TPL yeah. and everything, except. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. For I mean, you have to renew renew every year, 
that's that's really important. Actually, it's one per year. You have to go back to the medical, uh, to the uh, the medical, and you do you have to do again uh, every yeah. year. Yeah, but the good you, thing, yeah. well, there are some rules actually, but yeah, that's yeah. Uh, that's something else. But yeah. yeah, yeah, the good thing of of do the if you want to become a professional pilot, it's good to do straight away the class one because then you know if you have the the physical and mental health to go through the the, the training careers and then uh, the pilot career because. Let's say you want to become a professional pilot and then you do only the class two. And then when you are required to get a class one because of the commercial pilot license or the TPL, and then if you are not uh, fit to get a class one, then you cannot go through. So if you actually want to become a professional pilot, you know that that's your career, then it goes straight to the class one. So if something, uh, it's okay. It's okay medical check. No, it was not difficult, I guess. It wasn't difficult for me at the beginning. It was long. But not a big, uh, big yeah. deal. I don't yeah. know what, what about you. The class one was it difficult for you? I well, I, for me, in my case, I actually well, uh, due to some situation, I went to do. I went. I find a nice center, uh, like medical center in Valencia, which I actually I went there for, for best personal reason. But yeah, I found this nice uh, medical center. I went there and actually. Well, let's say the first two, the first time you do it uh, is a bit more. I mean, it's tiring because you. I mean, you spend. You have to spend a few hours. Let's say there because yeah. uh, it's like uh, you. You have to do this psychological part, and then uh, of course, first thing in the morning, the, the first uh, blood test, and then, uh, and then you go with uh, with this medic uh, with this. Uh, sorry, um, psych- psychological part. So you have to do kind of um, test. Yeah. Yeah, there were a lot kind of, of multiple choice right. tests. Yeah, and then of course you have to go one by one to each uh, like uh, specific medical uh, stuff, like uh, I don't know cardiology, and, and then I don't know for the for the ear and this and that. So basically, yeah, yeah. from zero <laughs> to under. I mean, you do everything. Yeah, yeah. And at the end of that, if everything goes well, they give you these uh, these certificates, and you can use uh, to I mean to join the aviation path. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Yeah, guys, one, one of my suggestions that I can give you, I mean, you don't have to be super fit. I, I, as you can see, I wear glasses. I, I like sports. I always keep myself uh, in a healthy shape. But there are a lot of guys that are not very in a super, uh, uh, let's say, fit shape. You know, they're not the perfect shape, but they still get the class one. The thing is, just don't go crazy. I mean, uh, just have a normal lifestyle and a good sleep the night before the medical exam may help a lot. But at the end, it's just a medical exam, so don't get stressed too much. I mean, uh, there is nothing really you yeah. can do. It's not like you're going to study, and then you have a better, uh, uh, I don't know, you hear better, or uh, I don't know, your blood yes. your blood pressure is better because you study. No. If you have a nice <laughs> and normal lifestyle, then <coughs> everything is fun. Uh, okay. All right, great. Then you get the, you get the uh, medical exam done, and then what you do? What have you done? What have you done? Uh, what I've done, well, of course, I found this, as I told you before, I found this, uh, this school in Gran Canaria. So I, uh, let's say I was checking the prices around and uh, let's say that for me, uh, like pr- uh, price quality uh, in that case for me was uh, pretty good because I didn't have to travel so far away. So let's say from Tenerife, we know we have got these uh, uh, in, like internal flights uh, with these small companies uh, in the Canary Islands. So I managed to fly easily. Uh, like in the morning and coming back in the evening or like going in the evening and coming back the day after yeah. uh, after the, the flight training. So yeah, that was, um, let's say it's more for, in my case was, uh, of course, I have to coordinate the situation. Like, you know, I have a son, I have life, I have yeah. work. So I want to do the course and that's uh, that's pretty much. The yeah, thing because, is, yeah. uh, the first thing I can say straight away is you need is for me it's very important you need to have an economical and mental uh strength like you have it's an effort of course that's it's, well yeah. it's not only economical because of course as you know the price is changing by the, from country to country but it's a mental as well so you have to re- really focus yeah yeah so basically uh then uh, because you can actually do the pilot training uh, in two ways one is modular and the other one is integrated Right, and yeah. you decided which type of training you decided to go. There were not many, I would say, many options. Like in my case, of course, 
I had, you know, I had already a life started, like I want to say, because usually um, you see I'm 34, well, about to be 35 next month. But uh, for me, it's not like a normal, um, I would say a normal age to start a course, because yeah. usually if you see that are really young, as Gabriel is flying all the time with young first officer, and he, he did the same, he started yeah. really young. And I'm starting, let's say, a bit later than, than I supposed to, to start. But yeah. Um, so yeah, you did. Course, yeah. So you choose the modular course. Yeah. I choose the modular and uh, I choose the model because he gave me the, the time to Perfect. work and the same time studying and doing the course. Because if you do like integral, the integrate course, uh, well, it's different because you have to, let's say you go to a school, yeah? you go to this school and you basically, it's a presential course so you have to be 100 percent of the time there and of yeah. course i'm not 18 or 20 or 19 years yeah. old so for me it's really complicated because i have other stuff yeah. so i yeah. found this way it takes longer yes it takes longer it, well all the time as i say it depends from you as you uh as you are focused as you are uh, availability during the the whole time but yeah. well it could take a bit longer yes yeah. it could take a bit longer but well, that's why I'm started already one, a bit more than a year, like maybe a year and a half. But well, yeah, it's let's going, say yeah. I, I go, I go ahead, I go straight. Yeah. You know, I keep going. Yeah. So yeah, basically the important thing is here that normally you can choose the modular and integrated course. So nothing changed there. I did the modular course as well because even though I started very young, I was working anyway. So I was uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, working the uh, refueling aircraft, doing some. Uh, teaching uh, and all the sort of stuff so I was working as well so normally if you're working and you have let's say to pay your course and you don't have somebody behind you that's backing you up or you have to put some efforts uh, money wise may maybe the modular course is better for you if you're a young guy or you've got the money ready and uh, you have a lot of free time then most probably the integrated course is uh, exactly. better no, what's uh, what this that's what, uh, exactly what it is because yeah. you can choose, you can choose, uh, even if I mean, if, as I as I did, you can choose different school, yeah, to complete, modular, yeah. you know. So you have more, uh, like you, for example, you you decide that you choose your time, like you, for example, you want, I want to do the PPL, so I finish PPL, then I'm, maybe I'm gonna rest for I don't know, six months, then yeah. I'm starting the TPL, you know, yeah. that's yeah. what you can choose basically, you can choose anything you want to if you do yeah. modular. Yeah, because you do one license at a time. So you take the first license, then you take the other license, then the other license. Exactly. An integrated course is like one course. You start from zero and then in, depending on your availability and the school availability, but normally one year and a half, two years from zero, you get all the licenses in one course. Yeah. yeah. All right, fantastic. So then, okay, so you choose, you did the medical, you went to the modular course and you did the PPL, the private pilot license here in Canarias. And how was yes. it? Did you enjoy it? How was it? Uh, I loved it. I loved it because, um, let's say, I started, I did the, the PPL in a small, air, well, it's not an airport, it's an aerodrome. <laughs> it's really <laughs> uncontrolled aerodrome in the, in the south of uh, Gran Canaria. And I love that because uh, for me, starting like that is really good for you to, um, let's say, it's, ju it's just as an, it's an easy aerodrome you can easily start you don't know really big pressure of these big aerodromes or these big air, uh, airports like uh, for example tenerife uh, yeah, central yeah. like the, the most important like tenerife or, Ten or gran canaria so yeah. this was a small aerodrome so it gives you the time and uh, especially the first 10 15 let's say yes uh, during your uh, your ppl the first 10 15 hours which you start you know you get started you get you, you get practice you get start you get used with your uh, with your airplane that's really good because you, you don't feel that pressure that, for example, when you start, imagine the first day you do your uh, your first hour and you're already, you know, lots of communication, lots of, you know, lots of stress because you already stress yourself, you know. <laughs> so uh, that was uh, for me a really, a really good start. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, of course, uh, more hours you do, then uh, you, fly, you will go your solo flight, which is about, well, I did after... If I'm not wrong, it was about 14 hours or 15 hours. Now I can't remember exactly, but yeah, uh, about my 14th or 15 hour, I, I did my solo flight. And the rest uh, is until 45 hours. So I had to, that's it, the time to fly fly solo again for, you know, cross country. I went for um, touch and goes, for example, to Elier, 
Pedro, which is another highlands. I went to La Gomera. So it was a pretty, pretty, pretty much um, my my PPL, and it was wow, really know. nice. It was yeah, really yeah. beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I've been flying. Uh, I've been flying for more than fifteen years, you know, and I've done my my solo flights in uh, two thousand and five, and I still remember like it was yesterday. I couldn't believe, yeah. you know, that uh, the instructor. Well, you, ne- you never the forget the first no, time. No. You never forget, <laughs> and it's uh, absolutely, absolutely lovely. Then yeah. by the time you well. The, the PPL is say just is just the beginning of a really long path and yeah. well, but that's that's for me I guess as many people said many pilots told me as uh, you know I was in the cabin and you know I was spoken with many pilots and and they said that was uh, actually say enjoy the PPL because it's gonna be the best you can have because yeah, yeah. well after that it's gonna is more let's say more uh, technical you know you. Yeah, yeah. You but, use uh, less your um, your manual skills, yeah. That's yeah, what I mean. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. more instrumentation and stuff. But the PPL, it's you and the thing. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's no uh, other. Yeah, yeah, I do agree. I do agree completely. The PPL, and I, I'm still in touch with all my PPL colleagues. Eh? Not all of them, of course. They they haven't become all of them captains or whatever. But some guys, they just uh, they just fly for fun, and I'm still in touch with them yes. because you get uh, like a, you become like a family on the course. It's. Uh, Super good, of course, yeah. So, then, so, you did the PPL now. So, what's the next step in the modular course? What next step, as I said, uh, well, I was following this um, uh, this modular path. Yeah, I didn't want to do integrate because, of course, uh, of my job. But, well, at the moment, we got some issue with the job, which I'm not going to <laughs> through it. But, yeah, well, we got some issue with, with our company. So, I let's say I had more time. I, I didn't want to do integrated because I couldn't do it anyway. But I'm doing steam modular. So I chose, I was looking around on internet and to see the best price for quality and everything. And I found, uh, I think, really good prices in Poland. Okay. In Poland, there are, uh, in Poland, or let's say East Europe, there are many, many schools. Still, same. Uh, okay. Uh, you cannot go for, I mean, you can go for the cheapest one, but you can go for that. But you have to make sure that it's a professional school. Yeah. It means uh, that they they follow your path and they help you out because you cannot just go for the for the ah let's go for the cheapest one no yeah. it does for me that's my opinion it doesn't work like that uh, and I found this school uh, it's called Bartolini actually it's a really it's a really good school and so wow. far let's say let's say so far because <laughs> I, I cannot tell you like hundred percent how it's gonna be but so far they're really they're really organized school I have to say the prices are really good. Because I'm, I always compare. As I'm Italian, I'm compared with Italy, and uh, let's so, say so better, yeah. <laughs> impossible. So yeah. the prices in, uh, let's say, in this case, in Poland, and this flight school are really are really good, and let's say they are really affordable. I would okay. say. Okay. And yeah, I'm doing with Bartolini. So I started this. Uh, had to do. I had to send all the papers on the all my license in order for them to make a file. So this is the and ATPL, right? The ATPL, ATPL Pro. Yes. The, they, yeah, send the ATPL this, um, they send you this platform to study and uh, you have to register first, of course. And they need, that's why they need your name and yeah. everything in order for you to, re- to be registered in this, uh, in this platform. They send you the platform and then you, let's say, um, the time are really good. You don't have, you're not really in rush with the time. So you got um, pretty much... Um, Let's say you got um, the times are something like you got eighteen months uh, since the beginning of the of the first day studying the, the day they you are enrolled in the in the platform you got eighteen uh, month months to um, to go for the presential as I told you before this this ten percent of the of the hours you have to do presential uh, you got eighteen months to show okay. yourself in there so you have to go there to do it and after that. Uh, as but well, uh, that's what I say that how is working in Bartolini. So that yeah. um, as I'm doing now, I'm doing this online um, uh, ground school. They managed to to organize actually we were prepared actually uh, online. Uh, we are doing some with, with an application and we are doing online. When I finish this, they're gonna uh, I'm gonna be doing some internal exams to let's say to to for them to double check that I'm ready for the official yeah. exam. Yeah, so basically you, you have done your PPL, now you're doing the uh, theoretical part of the uh, airline transport pilot license. So this is the course that you, the ATPL, is called ATPL Frozen, where you're actually you're doing a course, theoretical course, which is 650 hours, if I'm not yes. wrong. 
uh, where basically you're going to learn what you need to know in order to become a professional pilot, an airline pilot, all the theory. You're doing this online now because of this problem yeah. that we all know because of this uh, uh, pandemic. So it's uh, so you said you're doing this online, so at home, completely at home. Yeah. But you have to do 10 percent of the 650 hours presential, right? Am I? Yes. Am I yeah. So it's 65 hours. So it's about 60, 65 yeah. lectures. Is the, well, they yeah. call it lectures. So yeah. they do so, online. All right. And yeah. I started three days ago. Uh, they started with, uh, for example, meteorology. Yesterday I did the uh, principle of flight. So today is our, let's say, free day. So yeah. I'm going to keep studying, of course. Yeah. And tomorrow I go radio navigation and so on and so on. Very good. But, yeah. Yeah. And then meanwhile, uh, after the PPL, what do you have to do for the uh, flying wise? Are you still flying at the moment? What's, what's your plan? Uh, your plan? Well, to be honest, uh, well, as you know, like this 2020 was uh, a terrible year for aviation. And well, Mm, you know, when you finish the PPL, as you as you did probably, of course, uh, you have to do this hour building. Just you have to build your your hours because you don't have any hours. Basically, you only have forty five. Well, I had uh, uh, well the PPL. I got about fifty hours. So yeah, from that you have to build some hours in order to reach the the enough uh, hours for the CPL yeah, course to start the course. Yeah, the minimum exactly. hours. Yeah. So my, um, let's say my my idea, I, I wanted to fly to US and actually I'm going to fly to US. I don't know when, but at some, to- some point I will do. And do the, the flight hours in there, like these uh, hours building, which you can easily do in, uh, I would say, in a less than two months. Yeah. You can do about 100 hours. And all these hours actually are counted, you know, for... Your license is not like you do in US. And it doesn't count. It counts. Yeah. They have to transfer these hours, you know, to to your license. Basically, yeah. it's not like uh, it's not like as you do in the US. US doesn't mean that doesn't work. I mean yeah, that yeah. working is like that. They they transfer these these hours. They, they are valid. Basically, they are yeah. basically all valid. That's yeah, it. Because, you just have yeah. to send them. Yeah, no, I mean, because I think you're just only doing the hours. You're not doing any license, right? Is am I no. correct? So you're only doing this building up so these hours. You can you can do the you can do some license there, but if, then, yeah, you need to, to be honest, I think it's a mess because the, after you do there, uh, you do all the all the licensing there. You can even do all of them. Uh, yeah. For sure, it's gonna be something cheaper, I would say. Yeah. But then you have to transfer all these yeah. licenses in uh, Europe, and probably you have to do some exam again. And you know, it's the for me, yeah. it's not worth. It's yeah, not yeah, worth. yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you're playing. So how many hours the hour building? Uh, it's like hundred hundred hours the hour building. How many? Mm, yeah, my plan yeah. is doing hundred hours. Yes, hundred hours. Okay, so fantastic. Yeah. And you're going there mainly because it's uh, well, apart from the experience that you will get going there, is I'm sure it will be a great experience. But you're going <laughs> there mainly because it's cheaper to do these hundred hours, correct? Yeah, I would say yes. Because you can really find really good deals, and uh, well, in Europe, I said, um, as I said, in Poland, you can find really nice prices as well. Okay, and again, it all depends from where you live. Because I live in Spain, I'm Italian, so in Italy, it's complicated because it's really, it's really, actually, it's really expensive. Uh, let's be honest, it's, it's expensive in Spain. Is less expensive than Italy, but still expensive. Uh, some other ways would be uh, going, for example, to Poland or to Czech Republic, which have really good deals, but still the same. I have to go there to leave. It's not worth. Okay. If you are from there, of course you are there. You you are not rush. You do your times. It's fine. You do your hours. There's no there's no rush. But in my case, I said, I thought, okay. Let's investigate because I, I, you know, I was flying for in the cabin for like for 14 years, and I hear pilot talking, and many of the pilots I know, many actually, uh, I would say a good 60, 70 percent, uh, they were doing these hours building in uh, in US. Yeah. So I was really curious. I was actually asking question how it is, and they said, Matteo, if you can do, just do it because it's an amazing experience. Yeah. It's a completely different experience from Europe. So I was like, okay, I'm going. Yeah, and my plan was supposed, I supposed to go there actually at the beginning of 2020, in March, which I was, everything was planned already. I had the authorization from the, the FAA, from the American uh, authority. I had this paper, which is a temporary permission to fly yeah. there with your license, with the European license. 
but unfortunately, frontier yeah. the the borders were closed, we, so we all know. I have to, yeah. yeah. So I now, have to postpone this uh, yeah. <laughs> this <laughs> this journey. Let's yeah. say. So now you're basically you have done the PPR. You're doing the theoretical part of the uh, airline pilot training course. And when are you going to do this award build? Can you do the award building together with the TPL? Let's say, uh, like you the can. TPL, and so you can, yeah. But now you you're gonna you can. do first, yeah. Yes. Uh, well, I gonna well my as again. I have another plan which I would like to go uh, in uh, to the United States about uh, between February and March, but still. The situation is not really yeah. it's not really clear, so we'll see if I have to postpone again. So yeah. probably, likely, will be maybe the end of 2021. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. No, but, um, yeah. Yeah. but my suggestion is, if you manage to do these hours during your theoretical part, theoretical part, that's much better. Yeah. Because, uh, first of all, you can save time. Because at the same time you're studying, you can do these hours, which, which is amazing. And... And I think flying, flying like practical flying is I'm not talking about simulator. I'm talking about flying yeah, yeah. is um, it's really motivating. So it's like uh, you, because you study and at the same time you apply your study on yeah. plane. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah, In yeah. my case, that's what I wanted to do. That yeah. was my, my plan. But now, now it's only theor- theoretical part. And yeah, theoretical yeah. part, of course, as you can imagine, is really, it's not, it's not easy because you have to study a lot of stuff and yeah. sometimes you would like to apply the stuff on plane because you say I, I, you're curious to know how it really works like yeah. like you look at it and you you see how it works but you cannot yeah, <laughs> yeah so exactly. my suggestion is is that if you can do if you can do a theor- theoretical part and practical together that's absolutely great if not yeah. well there's many options. That depends from uh, from any from from the person. It depends yeah. how your ability and uh, how you prefer. Maybe you prefer to do everything like uh, I don't know. First the the practical and then the, uh, theoretical, or vice versa. It depends. Yeah, that's the that's the good thing of uh, being on a modular course because in the modular course you actually choose when to do one thing and then the other thing and then the other. like in your in your case now because of the situation that we are all living now you're doing this. Uh, you, you have done the PPL, now you're doing the TPL theoretical part. And then maybe if you will be able, you will start the hour building soon. But you choose when to do these things. In the integrated course, exactly. you basically do all in this in one shot. So you do the TPL, the hours, and all together. So it's with a modular course, let's say you've got more flexibility. No, you are a bit exactly. more flexible on your own. So fantastic. It so depends maybe, because you I wanted to try to do like in a in a less time possible, to be honest, that was my, my initial plan. But uh, you go with the flow because yeah. you cannot predict the time, especially in this situation that we are we are living in. You cannot predict anything, so oh, you just course. go with the flow. Uh, you yeah. see how how the because, for example, as I said, I supposed to go to Poland, and my my travel to Poland for these um, uh, for these uh, ground schools, yeah. which I supposed to do this ten percent famous ten percent. Uh, it was already planned. I had everything booked. the The Airbnb. I had air, everything was uh, was booked. Every the travel, the flight, anything. And then, Two weeks yeah. before, I got a notification that due to the the COVID situation, everything is cancelled. So I had to do online. Yeah. See, so I can you cannot really predict. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Yeah, I am sure all the people there know as well. I mean, I had a <laughs> signed contract with a. On the triple seven, on the board yeah. triple seven, then uh, two weeks before everything went out of the window. But yeah, there so was a situation. Yeah. <laughs> so then you do your ATPL, the hour building, and then what's the next step? You do the hour building, you finish the, as I said, the, the, the theoretical part, and then you get into, uh, you go, well, first you, as I'm not, yeah, you go for the BFR night uh, um, for your license. You, know, you need to do this, uh, this BFR night. And after that, you go for the CPL model, which include the multi-engine, the, the instrumental rates, and you know, you I mean, until until the MCC. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, in, once you finish the, uh, in the in the case of the modular course, then you have the PPL, then you've got the ATPL with the hour building. Let's say yes. in a normal world, uh, TPL <laughs> hour building. In order to get the minimum hours to start the CPL, then you go into the CPL, 
And then the CPL is commercial pilot license. And then once you finish the commercial pilot license, you have basically a commercial pilot license with an airline transport pilot license frozen, the, the theoretical yes. part. So yeah. you actually, at the end of the, the license, you don't own an ITPL. You only own a commercial pilot. Well, only. It's not only, but you own a commercial pilot license with a, 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 a ATPL theoretical certificate. Because the yes. airline transport pilot license is the license that I've got. And then after you have to you have to do a bit of experience, hours on the uh, big aircraft, and then then you can apply for an exam, and then you get the TPL, the full TPL, and the full TPL is what you need to become a captain, basically. So exactly in a multi-engine planes. Okay, fantastic. Then once you have done the uh, CPL, the airline transport parallax is frozen. You go into this MCC course, right? Yeah. Is it, is it still and after there? that, after that is let's say you can. Well, you can. It's actually the um, you got the type rating because yeah. it depends. Because you can start to apply for companies and everything, but it depends from the company you're in. Yeah. They use an Airbus. They use a Boeing seven three seven. So you you need to do the the type rating, which is another uh, economical effort. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because yeah. Uh, that is not let's say it's not cheap. And that's it. After that, yeah, you're ready. Yeah, let's say let's say after your cheap CPL commercial power license and the theoretical part of the ATPL, you go into this MCC, which is multi crew coordination course. Yes, right. Uh, when I did my MCC, it was great. I mean, if I if I really loved two courses during my pilot training career, was the private pilot license was the best, and then the multi crew coordination course was really the best one because then. You really go from the single pilot operation to two pilots operation. So I made yes. a separate video where I explain how the MCC works. I'll, I'll try to link the in the description below the video. But it's basically instead of flying alone and being the only captain on board and do everything by yourself, you learn to work as a team. And it was a great, yes. uh, really a great, a great course. Then after the MCC course, there are some companies that uh, offers the jock, the jet. Or a jet uh, jet familiarization course, jet orientation course. Yes. So, but that is not really a, re a requirement, no. Well, it's in my school, in my school, uh, they actually uh, let's say they make um, a pack which includes MCC and joke. Ah, yeah. okay. Yoke. Okay. It's called joke. Yeah. Joke. Yeah. yeah. So they they do it. After that, of course, as I said, you as you said as well. So you have to go for the for the type rating yeah. uh, in order to fly that particular you got the habilitation to fly a particular plane like can be a Boeing or can be Airbus. Yeah, yeah. 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 So my, my suggestion guys, whenever you finish your license, you you can either do the type rating straight away. There are lots of schools that actually sells you the, the type rating, the yes. Airbus, the Boeing, uh, which normally costs around between twenty and thirty thousand. You might find that cheaper, you might find expensive, but that's uh, twenty thirty thousand euros. That's normally the price. But my suggestions before dive into a type rating and pay 20, 30,000 euros like that, just try to get a job because some companies, some airlines, they actually uh, hire you, they take you without the, the type rating. And yes. then they, they, they basically either give you a contract, you sign a contract and then you pay the type rating. So you kind of have a job security at the back. Or they actually do this uh, bond where you cannot leave the company for three, four, five years. And if you leave the company, then you have to pay the type rating depending on the company policies. Is like exactly. half of the type rating and so on. So, so my suggestion, guys, is just don't go after your licenses, jump into the first uh, type rating in the Airbus or the Boeing. Because if you do the type rating in the Airbus, then you will you have to fly the Airbus to become a a suitable pilot for an airline. So only with the type rating doesn't really. I mean, yes, you have a type rating, but it's the experience on the aircraft that you need. And you need at least a minimum 500 hours on the time before some companies can actually say, okay, this guy has the type rating and the experience. So they, they, because there are some companies which have the, the it's called the, I think it's, if I'm not wrong, it's called the cadet uh, program. So it means as soon as you finish the school, as Gabriele said, you, you're going you go into the to this company without the, the type rating, and they gonna make you a formation to you, like they, yeah. um, as you say, they can give you a, either a contract with uh, I don't know for five years or something, so yeah. you can do the 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 type rating, and then get into the company. Or yeah. some other companies they want you 
<laughs> the ones you have the type rating. So you, you, if you want to go to some companies, you need to have type rating. Otherwise, you're gonna, you're not gonna be hired. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. So in my case, when uh, when I finished my school, I, I finished my training school when I was uh, 22, 23, and then, uh, uh, well, I was working already in the skydiving. Uh, World. I was dropping skydivers from the airplanes every day. But then I joined this uh, my first airline, and then they gave me a five years contract, but I had to pay the type rate. So this is uh, you know something that's okay. You know I pay my type rating, but I've got five years contract at the back. So it really depends. But that's my suggestion. You know, start applying a lot once you finish your license, and then see if you find a job or not, and then take it from there. All right, Matteo, let's talk about some costs. Okay, so okay. how much? That's a pile of <laughs> that's, the, that's probably the thing that people are more interested in. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, well, well a modular. I, I don't know if you have information about the integrated course, but if you have, let's say, let's compare the two and tell us something about the, co the costs of a modular course from zero to euro, from zero to the joke, uh, and an integrated course. What? Uh, what? Okay. Uh, well, the, to to be honest, the integrated course uh, at the moment I don't I don't remember the prices for that. So I, well, talking about my school because I go I went straight away for the module, so I didn't even check the other because yeah. I, of course I I couldn't do it. Uh, but for example, uh, my school. Uh, well, as I said, I did in two different schools: you know, the PPL for one school and the other uh, the TPL actually with with another school. Uh, but let's say in total. At the end of, let's say, from zero to uh, to MCC, let's say like that. Okay. Uh, it would say I uh, would say something about between forty and fifty thousand euro. Okay. Well, that's a very then good, uh... it, yeah yeah because uh, for example, well, um, I guess I say in my school I got uh, uh, the price uh, they give me a price list with all the prices including the hours building. Okay. okay, and 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 I, at the end I had the, the result. I had uh, I had this price, but as I said, I'm gonna do the hours building somewhere else. Maybe you can save some money. Okay, okay. so probably I would say yeah, between forty and fifty thousand euro. Yeah, but don't forget that after that, as we were saying, you have well, not you have to, but you go ha you're gonna have the, the type rating. Either yeah. you pay for it or the company is paying for it, but yeah. you have to do the. Yes. Rate, which, yes. is, as it says, another between twenty-five and thirty thousand euros. Yeah, and this, so uh, at the end, yeah, this fifty, this fifty thousand euros, is it uh, uh, with the accommodation included, or is only the flight training? Uh, well, this is for a uh, modular, so yeah, no, mm, it's no, uh, so, no accommodation included. Okay, so maybe with accommodation and everything, you go up to 55, probably 54, something like that. Yeah, yeah. a little bit more. Yeah. But it depends as well, as I said. Yeah, because, for yeah, example, depends, if you do yeah. in Poland, if you do in Poland, uh, the life is quite, uh, quite cheap. Yeah. So you can find, if you have to be in Poland uh, for a while, you can have, you can find good deals. So yeah. the accommodation is not that expensive, but depends. It depends, <laughs> depends where you do it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Matteo, tell me something. What are the biggest challenges that you faced so far throughout your pilot training? What was like really the thing that you were saying, oh my God, this is very challenging, you know? What are these? Uh, well, probably uh, <laughs> the, uh, the theoretical part. Yeah, the, the theoretical part is like, because of course, everyone, for anything you do, of course, you want to do practical stuff. Of course, you, of course, you want to fly. Of course, you want to, you want to, I don't know, you want to, you want to touch the plane. You want to touch yeah, yeah. The, the, everything, you know, like the instruments, but yeah. you cannot. You cannot so yeah. theoretical part is a, is a big challenge. Is, is not easy. It's not easy because uh, I have to say it's not easy. And if I, if I can say one suggestion, if I can, because for me that's really important, because you hear many things on the internet, you hear people telling this thing, but uh, in order to be, that's my opinion, it's not like, in order to be a good pilot, you, can, you cannot uh, just learn uh, the question banks, okay? Yes. That's really important, because there are many, as you know, there are many question banks around which you can um, study for the, for the, for the um, exams. And actually, they're really useful. I'm not saying they're not useful because they're really useful. But at the same time, if you want to be a good pilot, I mean, if you just want to pass the exam, 
you, see, you try your luck, you try your luck, you do just the question mark, it's up to you. But if you want to be a good pilot, especially after the, 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 the exams, then you must have some knowledge. You have to build the knowledge. You have to have kind of basic. Like yeah. you cannot just you just go for the question because if you just go for the question, okay, well, you know the question. But then after that, as I said, you start the, C, the, the CPL and what? Yeah, it's like, you, you yeah. Know, yeah. A, you don't know anything. You know? It's a great. You just uh, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah Matteo. It's a people great. are just learning the, they're just learning, for example, they go, they see a question and they actually, they, they remember by heart the, the answer or they're just yeah. the beginning of the question. You know, there are some tricks, you know. You can play. <laughs> but yeah. for me, that's only, you need to, to do, I would say, half and half. You need to study from the books and from your platform or whatever you have. And at the same time, you have to do questions because it's important because, you know, when you do the exams, exams, they're really difficult. They're not easy exams. They're, they're quite difficult. They are changing all the time. They are changing questions. They're changing the, uh, the, um, they say the, the platform for the question and everything. So you have to, you have to answer. You have to, okay, you have to, let's say, kind of remind by heart some stuff. Because let's say something you can not really, you cannot really remind. It's like, oh my God, yeah, I cannot yeah. remember this. You can remember by heart, but you have to know something. You have to yeah. have a basic knowledge of what you're studying because that otherwise is, is what? Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. Matteo, this is the best advice that you could actually give. Eh? It's like building an house. When you build a, yeah. your house, you want to have a strong foundation. I mean, you don't exactly. want to just put some walls and then hopefully it will. Uh, the fir- when the first wind comes, you know, the, the house will stay up, you know? And, uh, I say, let's say because the, the exams are really tricky. It's true. It's true because I was checking the database, the, the question banks, and honestly, some question are like, really? Like, you know, you, you start to think even, what, do I really need to know this? Yeah, but yeah. yes, you need to know. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah. So it's, you, know, yes. you really need to know. As some, yeah. some question you, you might think that is stupid or maybe they're, of course, they try to, it's a trick. Of course, you're not doing exam for, for elementary school. This is, yeah. a, this is a really important exam. So even the tricky question, you sometimes you can avoid them, like kind of avoid them, but you have to know what you're talking about. You know, you, you have to know the, the the subject. You have to know yeah. something, you know, about yeah, yeah. that subject because you cannot just go for because I know as I know perfectly because I've seen videos and I heard people. You just start the people just stand in the question bank. Okay, so if you just study a question bank. Man, if you're if your mind i mean if you're uh, i don't know a genius okay perfect you start you study you just remind by heart doesn't matter which a subject you just study the question or whatever okay at the end you pass the exam yeah you can pass it of course but sometimes for me oh, it doesn't make you a good pilot even if yeah. you do all 100 percent you finish and then you you go through the cpl and that's it. You just pass the exam with the with the question banks, which is for me that that's is, is not working for me. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. I can tell you, Matteo. I can tell you that when uh, I mean I'm a trainer captain uh, on the Boeing 737, as you know. So I, I fly with the brand new guys out of the CPL MCC course. They join the airline, and w- when they have to learn how to fly the actual Boeing 737 on uh, real operation with real passengers, that's when I took these guys and then I fly with them. And I can tell you. I can recognize straight away if a guy has a strong foundation or it was just a guy or a girl that just studied the, the, the quiz, you know? So this is really, really good advice. So really, I mean, make sure you do as Matteo said, you know? And that's, you know, it's, it's personal. Personal because every each individual person knows how you feel like. Because sometimes, I tell you, it's really important to have the question back because you, you, it's you true have, that yeah. you might know really well the subject, but there are some tricky questions and you stay like, oh, what is this, you know? Yeah. But you have to do some basic, some yeah. fundamental, like you have to do, you have to know something. It's not just question back because uh, that's my, that's my opinion. So yeah, I know. Say, it's, my, uh, I, I do. I backed it up. I mean, it's, uh, it's super important. Quits are important because they are required to pass the exams because as you said, yes. some questions are very tricky. Tricky, and if you don't, uh, if you haven't, tr- if you if you haven't uh, practiced the questions, back, no matter what the level of your knowledge of that subject is, you will not answer in the right way. So you need a quiz. Yeah. But remember, that's the career that you're gonna make. That's that's yourself. That's you. Be, you will be flying for the last, the rest of your year, the rest of your life. So sure. you need a strong foundation that will stay there with you forever. All right. So Matteo, another question. Let's say the last question. Then we we wrap this up. Okay. Uh, 
let's say you've got your brother that tells you, Matteo, I want to start a pilot uh, trader. <laughs> okay? Okay. What would you say to him? No, uh, I mean, don't do it is not an answer, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, just leave it. No, yeah, just, no just kidding. Um, what I would say, uh, okay, first of all, I have to say something. In my case, because uh, I could I could have been pilot already for more than ten years. Okay, that, I wanted to say that because it's true. Because I studied in uh, in Italy in uh, this um, uh, in high school. I was in actually the school uh, yeah, aeronautical yeah. technical institute, which was uh, actually the result is supposed to be you becoming pilot or maybe um, control tower or whatever. Uh, but then you know with the age. You just, you are, maybe I was not, I don't know. Uh, I was thinking yeah. about something else. I was not focused on what I wanted to, to be and, and everything. Because I even started my, my PPL when I was uh, 17, okay? So if I would continue, for sure, when I was 25, I'm pretty sure that I could be pilot easily. Yeah. Uh, easily, because, not easily because I'm, I'm super smart, but easily because I, you just yeah. keep going uh, your career and you see more you fly, more you like it. That's yeah. how it is. But at that time, I was enough stupid not to continue okay that's that's how it is that's right. yeah um so but you know better better late than never no as yeah, i started exactly. later i realized that yeah what i would say to uh, to my brother i would say uh it's uh, it's still is up to each individual person because uh, maybe doesn't like maybe doesn't like the aviation or maybe he would say oh listen you're doing that i see that it's really it's really cool to be pilot or or I'm really interested, I love planes. Uh, okay, so just do it. It's, it's something needs to come from you. It's not just because, ah, because the, that guy is a pilot, I want to be pilot as him. No, yeah. in, in, because yeah, he's kind of, of course, pilots are, are earning good money. That's true. I'm not saying that they're, they're not, because otherwise it would be like, I, <laughs> it, would, it would, be, would be not true. But it's not just that. You need to like it as well a bit. Yes. You know? yeah, and yeah. in my case, as I was in the cabin, I was cabin crew for a flight attendant for 14 years. You know, after I had this switch, I don't know for which reason, but um, I said, okay, I'm gonna yeah. change. You know, I'm gonna turn the switch to, to on and you know, jumping from the cabin flag. So I had this uh, this thought, and I'm, I was keeping going. But by each person, each person is different because. You can be maybe you just love planes. People yeah. just love the plane. Oh, I want to be pilot because I love planes. I love this. I love, really interesting in my I don't know engines and instrumentation. So they, that's each yeah. one has a different yeah. focus, has a different yeah. uh, motivation. No? Yeah. And the, yeah. mine was that. I have to be honest because I'm I'm not saying that that, that something else is true. Uh, yeah. To be honest, when I was 19, 18, I I was not saying no, no, no. I need to be a pilot. No, that's not true. Yeah. yeah because yeah. in that moment, I didn't want to. But yeah, then, exactly. with the time, I started to work as a uh, flight attendant. You know, it, it was this motivation uh, was built by the time I was uh, I was in the cabin. And you know, after after 10, 12 years, I said, okay, why not? And I started. Yeah, yeah great. That's yeah, guys, it's, it is very important. I, what I've seen is that many people they don't do the course because they think it's too expensive. Because as we said before, you need to do have uh, you need to spend around fifty five thousand fifty thousand euros. And then you need to do the tap rating, which is another 30,000 euros. So 80,000 euros plus some other expenses that you might find along the way. So you might have to spend around 100,000 euros. So many people think, ah, this is way too much money. And <laughs> I don't have them, so I will not start. But guys, remember that when I started, I didn't have the money. You know, I didn't have 100,000 euros in my bank account. But I worked my way through like Matteo is doing now. So yeah. he was he is flying and he's paying. Flying it's not that you have to have hundred thousand euros and pay and then do the course. You know, you can start, you can, you know, do the first hours because as well, some some guys happened to me. I have seen some guys they started, they didn't like it, and then they, they, they drop it. Okay, they they didn't continue the course. So the important thing is if you have a lot of money, you're ready a lot of time, just go and do the thing. But if you don't have the money, but you really, really want to do it, as Matteo said, okay, you need to have an internal uh, motivation that push you to do this. Because there will be, I tell you, a lot of times where you're going to be thinking like, who is telling me to do this? You know, because and then is when you need to be motivated because you're going to spend a lot of money and put a lot of effort. But if you like it, Especially go ahead. I don't think about how much it costs, but think about 
how I'm going to pay the next hour. You know, that's, that's what I thought when I started doing my training career. That's worked perfectly. It took me for me, it took me around three years to do the world course, while some guys they were with money and everything, they were doing it in, uh, I don't know, one year and a half. So it took me kind of the double, the double of a normal uh, person with a lot of money, with, no, with, a, with the money ready. But oh, yeah. the result at the end in one in lifetime, one year, what is it? You know, at the end, if you get to the results, you get to the result. Boom. Fantastic, Matteo. Listen, many thanks for this interview. It's been a great, uh, great pleasure You're to welcome. have you here. If I've got any any person that wants to ask you some questions about the paddle training, uh, can I can I actually ask you in the future if there is anybody in of the course. Call? Yeah, fantastic. If I can help, yes, <laughs> that would be nice. I would, I wouldn't mind to to help somebody else, which All is right. starting like I did. Fantastic. Okay, Matteo, thank you very much, and guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thank okay, you. thank you very much for staying until the end. Bye.